Hello! Today is going to introduce this one, the G Tag E180 Stereo Mini 3D Printer. I quickly finished the unboxing. Let's go to see what including in this box. First, a tools pack. What is inside? A screwdriver, an Allen key, and an iron bar. I'm not sure what is that. Let's go to check later. And then, wow. They give us a one, a one gigabyte my, micro, yeah, TF card, the micro SD card. I'm so confused why they always changing the storage, the SD card because the before I have a G i three, they using the normal SD card, and I will do a comparison between these two three D printer later in the other video. So, please follow and subscribe my channel. Okay, the next one. Okay, a replaceable, a replace. Not so. It's quite important because actually for my last three D printers, I still use them now. But the exclusive, the not so, is very very easy to just like fix by the material. Haven't finished. And then very hard to clean, so a replace not so is quite important. And then, of course, they need powers, a power adapter and power cables. Because I'm in UK, so I using the the UK type. Some material, I think this should be PVC, PBS. I guess I guess should be PBS. Yes, it's enough for just like. Some small element, I guess, I guess. And a USB cable. One here is the USB Type A, one is the micro. It's a mini display port, so it's used to connect the printer itself and the computers. One more. I think this should be a uh, material holders because they have the similar things in the GTEC i3, I will show you later. The last but not least, a menu things in English. Although they are Chinese company, they have the English versions. And in the menu, they have the cover on the working pace. The coolest thing I have. Thing is the mouse pack. Every time G Tag, they give out the mouse pack in their products. Finish all the thing else. Not important, but quite important, but quite interesting. Now let's focus on the main product, the G Tag E One A Zero Mini Three D Printers. Let's go to see what can this do. Do you think I will just like prop it out and show you how to work? No, no, no. It's too normal. Let's think about something else. Just like for the new buyer, we not want to just like use it right now. We want some comparison. We want to know whether it's worth it or not. Whether there's some better product I can buy rather than this one. Let me show the previous 3D printer I got. The i3 I just meant. mentioned that. Heavy! This is the G Tech i3, and this one is the GT, uh, it's the G Tech E1 A0. It's the new mini desktop base 3D painters. And this one is the heavy and self assembly it means you need to just like assemble it by yourself a heavy DIY printer and this one is cheaper and this one is a little bit expensive 
In UK, this one on Amazon about 180 pound, and this one, oh sorry, this one's 100, eh, 120 pound, and this one is 180 pound. What's the What's the difference? Make the price difference. At first, we can see here this part is called the printing pack. We can say queen printing pack because this one actually we call it hot pack or heat pack, and this one they cannot heat, so we can call both of them walking pack. What's the meaning of what? Why we want to use the heat pack? You can see. One of the main difference between these two is the size of the printing area. This one actually they look larger. This one should be the 200 by 200 by 220 millimeters printing area. And this one is about 150 times 150 by 150 millimeters. So this the printing area is smaller. Normally, when we print something in 3D painting, if the printing area is larger, mean the layer is higher. Can we consider about this? When we printing something, we want to print the largest thing, so we buy a larger area 3D painters. When we print something larger, the temperature different between the top part and the lower part. The difference is large. So when the material is going out from not so exclusive, when they touch the pack and quickly moving, the temperature, the low temperature easy to make the bottom material bending. So they will make the bottom surface finish very poor when you have a very large working area. So the heat pack is necessary for the large working area 3D painter. And this one is smaller. Actually, for the customer who buying this one, my suggest is, who want to buy this is want to print something small and print something for your children or for life student like me. If you plan to print some model small, you can consider about this one because this you can see here, this uh, unibody just like they help you to build it. You not to you don't need to assemble it by yourself like the i three. I remember I when I got this one. They delivered to me just like a massive, just like hundreds of pieces of things. I need to assemble it by myself. It's so terrible, just like. And I have spent about three days to assemble all things and adjust the layered balance and all the things. Five more days. So after uh, about 10 days later, I can print it perfectly. I mean perfectly, okay. so. Every time you print it, you need to adjust it. It's so annoying when you use the 3D printers. And this one, definitely you can see, it's more smarter. This one has a stronger computer and the, I mean the processor, can help you to adjust it every time. So you don't need to adjust it by yourself. So, a quick summary, because for so only for this one, I only want to introduce both of them briefly. If we want to see the, the detailed comparison of the detailed introduction for both of them, please follow my channel and subscribe. Me. Okay, it's very important. Okay, so today I got the new 3D printers, and then I introduce to you. How do you think about these two? Please tell me in the comments, and then. We will focus on the 3D printing words later in my channels. I think I need to go to practice my English. Okay, see you later.